All right. Here we go. Sunday live at 7. And it's nice and light out. That's nice. I'm going to wait just a little bit, see who pops on. Hello, Janet. I was saying that it is nice and light out at 7 o'clock. Nice to see you on this Sunday evening. And I'm just so happy. I have to admit that I don't have to set the alarm tomorrow or tonight to get up in the morning. This is amazing. So, a, a little bit of a new phase of life, but it's okay. We'll get through it. So, let's go ahead and um, as people pop on here, let's talk about Paper Pumpkin this month. We received two stamp sets this month, which I thought was going to be fantastic. But I mean, it was like they blew it out of the park. <clears throat> I have used with this little box, I'll show you what I've done with this little box. Hey, Brenda. Um, I've used every stamp except for this one right here that has like the front door. I have to explore that yet. Let's see, how does that go like that? I have to stamp that and play with that. Hi, Susan. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Carol. So I have to see how, hi, Diana, how all of that works. And then um, these larger hearts, they have three graduated hearts. I use the little one and the bunny. I know, right? Don't we love, uh, hi, Paula. Love this month's paper pumpkin. Um, so I just wanted to show you that, like, I almost... Um, used every single block that I had. Hi, Janet, Brenda, everybody. Hello, hello, Donna, nice from Michigan. Carol, Linda, whoop. So I uh, like, I moved some things around in here today and I really like it a whole lot better. Um, hi, Sue. So I thought um, that I, I feel like I have a larger area right here to work and to be on the camera with you guys. So I'm happy with that. So, but I love when I use almost every th single stamp. Hi, Judith. Hi, Laura. Um, and that's about what I have done in this set, all except for, like I said, um, I have to stamp this and play with it. I think that's going to take some intricate coloring. Hi, Vicki. I know, right? Isn't it great this month, Vicki? I know. Um, and the clouds. I love the clouds. And then I just didn't use these two larger hearts. I just used that smaller one. Um, this saying right here says, wishing you brighter days ahead. Nah, that's kind of a little. Hey, Lisa. Um, hi, Janet. Hey, Lisa in Jersey. Are you guys like locked down? Um, Lisa is my cousin. So we'll see what she says. Um, so anyway, I have, um, I hope everyone is doing well. Is every, hi Connie, is everybody doing okay with all of this? I have now had um, like no contact with anybody for what my daughter and I were counting like two days from just her and my grandson. And it's like five days from, let's see, Tuesday is when I, they uh, laid me off at work. So hi Becky. Hi, Connie. Um, from Kentucky. How's everybody in Kentucky? Was I hope the weather was nice there today. It was here. A little cool, but nice. Yes, we are. Yes. Okay, so you guys are locked down in New Jersey. So anyway, I um, decided that I was, of course, staying in because I am high risk and I'm fine. Nothing wrong. Um, yes, cleaning and crafting and cooking. Yes, I have yet to get to the cleaning, Sue. Oh my goodness, I'm really, um, I have to kind of scold myself for that because I've been doing a, a lot of crafting, cooking, and just, you know, just being like, okay, I don't have to get into such a hurry to do such and such, you know, so I really kind of like that. Okay, um, I, I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to do even more things on here, just not Sunday. I just have to get into like a little bit of a gallop with what is going on. Um, I, you, okay, you, yes, I see that, Susan, yes, yes, my house is so clean, oh, mine's not, Sue, okay, mine is not, no, no, <laughs> just locked down tomorrow after midnight, only essential buses only, okay, so with all of that being said, with all of this going on, 
I, I know, like, I placed an order last week um, with Stampin' Up! for my downlines and some new people that have joined because I like to give them an A block and catch them up through the three months I've been giving away rhinestones and dimensionals and A block. So, um, anyway, so I wanted to catch everybody up with that. But now I placed the order. It is still in what they call picking. That means that it has not shipped yet. So, it's been days. They are on an abbreviated schedule there. So I really don't know. Lockdown in San Diego. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I hope you're okay. Please stay in and stay well and stay safe. Oh, thank you so much, Becky. Um, so, yes, I don't know what is going to go on um, with the shipping and everything with Stampin' Up. So um, if anything happens, I will at least, if I know anything, I will at least post it on this um, Facebook page. How about if I communicate with you guys that way? Okay, I'm not going to wait to do a YouTube video and hope you catch it over there. I'll just type out a little something on here just in case I find something out that I feel like you guys should know. Okay, and so our, our um, giveaway from last week, I was going to do another box and this, and I cut everything for you. Here's the box that I did. I just covered it up and I used the little flap up there. Look, I still have my Milky Ways in there. Oh, that's gonna be a reserve, right? Wow. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing. I appreciate it. So um, that's the little box. And I, I'm going to send you that. I'm going to send you all of the pieces already cut up. And, and then you can glue them on and decorate. And then you get this card from last week that we put together. I love that station wagon. I just really like that. Okay, so schools in Central, yes, until April. I don't think my husband is off until at least March 29th. Yes. Uh, Carol, I swear, I don't think that, um, let's see, who do we have here? Kelly Teeters. Kelly, you won. Did you win last week? I can't remember. Did I just mail something to you, I think? Okay, there we go. Right on camera. Okay. So, let's see, what else are we doing here? Um, is, is this still available? Didn't get order in for one. Um, is the paper pumpkin? I don't know. Oh, yes, Susan. Um, let's see. Do you do, Susan, what do you do? The, um, are you a paper pumpkin person? Or let's see. Where do I have you listed? because I am running behind with things. Oh, you mean, um, yes, yes. You mean the, um, the Happy Crafting Card Kit class. Yours went out, Susan, yes. Everything um, with, uh, let me say, my Paper Pumpkin, because my Paper Pumpkin people get my kits too, and my Happy Crafting Card Kit class will all be mailed by Monday. As far as my downlines go, I'm behind because my order is behind. If I see that the order is going to um, be late, I'm going to mail you your kits. This way you can at least have something to play with. I'll catch up with all of your goodies, you know, maybe in the next month. And, you know, just to let everybody know, I am trying to keep as steady as we go here. As much as I can do the card kits and um, everything like that. <clears throat> I'm trying to keep as normal as possible, okay? And we will I'll just take it on a day-to-day, week-by-week thing. If something changes, I will always let you guys know. I know that you will understand. And then, you know, everything will pick back up to normal when everything else gets totally normal. Um, again, so that's all that I know to say, you know? And we can just craft and have fun together in the craft room. That's all I know. But is this little kit just not adorable? These boots, I, mean, I just love these boots. So here's what I did, this little box. I found this on the internet and I forget from who. It's just to, to hold three by three cards. Um, and then I made these little cards and um, 
they will open like this. They're three by three, so it's six inches by three inches scored at three. And I just decorated the outside. Look at our bunny. I love these clouds. I'm all about these clouds. Absolutely, because we're all in the same boat. Oh, thank you so much. I so appreciate it. I know you guys will understand. Um, and then right here on the inside. And then this one, we're going to do a little sponging there. Yes, definitely, Vicki. So seriously, uncharted waters for now is a great way to put it. And right there. Now, the little box, of course, can hold more than three cards. And if you wanted to do envelopes, that's great. This is a fantastic um, craft idea for a craft show. They're inexpensive to make. Um, you can mass produce these like crazy. And um, you can make them Christmassy, too. You know, and maybe even put a candy in them. You could even put... Um, a, um, a sticky note with a pen and a candy and maybe one card you know stuff like that so um, but you'll like the little dimensions of this little box <clears throat> I had to show you all of these out here this was nuts with all of the stamps right but we have to move those aside so we'll go from here I'll get all these guys out of the way I gave myself more like I needed it, right? Flat counter space. You know, to a crafter, the more flat space, the better, right? Um, I'm going to move in the scoreboard here. Uh, and the little piece of uh, solid cardstock, any color that you would like, is three and a half this way, three and a half this way, by nine and a half this way. Now, on the three and a half side at the top, we're going to score this at the two and a half. Right here, we're going to score at two and a half. Okay, then we're going to turn this to the nine and a half side up here, the long side, and we're going to score it again at three and a quarter, four and a quarter. Oop, my finger got in the way. Four and a quarter, right there, and then seven and a half and eight and a half, just like that. Let me make that, oh, it keeps wanting to go into that groove that I did. Okay, just like that, all right? Now, that's all the scoring that you need to do. Let's move this aside. Let me move this this way. Okay, and now we're gonna take our snips and we want to go ahead and cut up on this the little side okay leave the larger side on top so cut these and then i love our snips because you could take it right to the point there right into that cross where the score lines cross now this will get right there and then up here this square right here you want to take out Oh, thank you. Yes, Kelly, you did. You won the giveaway again. Um, now this right here, you um, miter the corners. Just give them a little angled cut, just like that. I want to come right into there with that point of that those snips. There we go. And angle on these little tabs. And this one too. And then here too. Just like that. <clears throat> okay, now what we want to do is with our bone folder, we want to go ahead and score everything. So kind of like fold. I do like a fold and a score each one. Because with a box, you want things to be very crisp. And then we might use a little tear and tape. Okay. And now here. And here. And now on this one. And then right here. 
and that. Perfect. Okay, now, do you see the box coming together? It's so simple. Like you could fold this in and that in, and here is our box. That's the bottom, that's the top. Very, very easy. We're gonna use some tear and tape. You're welcome, Kelly. And we're going to do this, see this little flap right here. Put some tear and tape on this flap. And I just kind of graduate them like that. And let me peel these off. Now, this is important that, hi Sandra, this is important that you get the box even here because that's gonna make your box straight, okay? And because there's tear and tape and not um, Tombow, this is like, I got like a one-time shot at this. I wanna get it right. Okay, I got it right here. Okay, we are good to go there. Okay, ah, okay. That's like a really important step for it not to get like wobbly. Now here we're going to, I'm gonna just bend those back and put these in, put our tabs in. That's why we mitered those a little bit. We angled them a little bit to put those tabs in. And we're going to use our Tombow. And I'm just going to place that there. And I'm going to, now this is the other part that it's like you really want, okay, here, here's something else. Let me show you this while I'm doing this. See this front where this edge is nicely curved around? Um, you want this bottom of the box to be that nicely curved edge. So I was about to make a mistake. I want this to be the back, okay? I want that to be the back of the box where the seams are, okay? Now, from what I'm gonna do here is get a block. Oh, I've used all of them. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> and I'm going to place my block in here. I'd take my cloud off of my block. And then, good evening, Sandra. Nice to see you. And then I'm going to push that like that. But now we still have to glue this part down, okay? So I'm just gonna use a little Tombow here. And again, I like the wiggle room on this. See, I have my finished edges all, like that's the front, okay? And where the seam is, that's the back. So that's nice. Now, again, I'm going to put my block in there and just push it, just to let that Tombow take hold. Okay, so while that's doing that right there, um, let's go ahead, and I've already cut my, um, my pieces here. These are my solids and the white, and I've already made my little cards. Remember, they are three inches by six inches scored at three, just like that, very simple. We're gonna go ahead and attach um, a little bit of color to the outside of each one. This is Melon Mambo. So cute. And with this box, I did not do envelopes. They're just pretty little cards. And you could do your cards any way you want, like this, like that. I'm doing them like that. Doesn't matter. Hello. Hey, Faye. Nice to see you. Thank you for dropping in, spending some of your Sunday evening with us. And so um, the colored card stock is um, two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Okay. And now one more, and this is Gorgeous Grape. That was uh, Melon melon Mambo, Coastal Cabana, and this is Gorgeous Grape. Melon Mambo, Coastal Cabana, and Gorgeous Grape. What pretty colors, right? So here we go here. Just like that. Just simple, very simple little cards. Okay, now. Um, <clears throat> I have, let's see, these three are the outside of the cards. Right now, what we're going to do is decorate our box. Now, these little measurements here, you need two of these, these are Whisper White. They're three inches by two and a quarter. 
so three inches by two and a quarter you need two of those and this little these little strips are three quarters of an inch by two and a quarter so three quarters by two and a quarter right there those are the sides let's go ahead and stamp start to stamp our flowers so throughout the whole card i'm going to start to use some balmy blue melon mambo we're just going to open some ink back here coastal cabana get my sponges out for that one technique um pear pizzazz some basic gray for our clouds and some gorgeous gray so now these these are the side pieces right here and there I'm a little off with my measuring I went one two three what I want to do is put that middle one in there first and I want to use my melon mambo full strength and I want to put it in the middle first and so let's do that again here just like that now I'm going to clean it off I made it so that when I clean my camera doesn't shake now I'm going to put my Coastal Cabana on the top here. Now this way we can better space our um, flowers out. I love these little flowers. Now I'm gonna clean that off and I'm gonna put my gorgeous grape at the bottom. Right there and right there, okay. So, beautiful. I'm just gonna clean that off because we're gonna use that throughout the card. Now, I'm gonna bring my little box in. I'll get and put my cloud back on my block. And I wanna go ahead and attach these to the sides of my box. Oh, the giveaway for tonight. Oh, for next week. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to cut one of these boxes for you so you could put it together with all of the insides. I'll cut it. I'll score it. You'll just have to put it together, okay? I'll do everything, you know, I'll do all of that for you. So I'm, you're going to get a project to do. I feel like right now projects are fun to do. Keep yourself busy. It's like I said in the, um, my, I was, uh, you know, like researching or, you know, just reading up on being lonely, you know, or some, you know, not having physical contact with people, even though a lot of everyone's faces are in their phones, they still have physical contact with people. So I was reading things. And um, so I said in my video uh, yesterday, and oh yeah, and that's the other thing. I made this card yesterday on my YouTube. So this will be part of the giveaway for next week. This card and a box, okay? Um, so when I, I was putting that card together on that video and I just said that, um, get on here. And I know that like when things get so cattywampus in life, I'm going to bring in some scrap paper here and my foam mat because we're going to do the boots. Um, and a little piece right here. This one is the three by two and one quarter. So I just told them, take whatever I do and case my cards. Take my videos and case my videos. You don't have to think about a thing. The measurements, you know, I usually talk you through the measurements or I might have them written out there. And um, just move your hands. Movement of your hands and um, peace in your mind, there's a connection there. So this is what I was reading. I don't know. So, so um, I'm, I'm no expert on this, not saying, but I'm like, hey, it sounded good to me. So I related it to my crafting. So if you move your hands, you, your mind will settle, you know, and this is Tuxedo Momento Black Ink, and we're using the boots outline. Um, your mind will settle. So you don't have to think about, you know, creating anything. Put the boots to the left side. Just case what I'm doing and let's see how you feel and i'll guarantee i just i just bet that you will be like hey wait <sighs> i took a breath for an hour you know because it can get a little overwhelming that kind of missed it right there on that spot uh, okay let's do side two let's do that right 
so anyway, I'm just trying to get everybody to just take a breath and we'll get through it. But boy, am I going to have fun crafting in the meantime. And I am so happy to be home. You guys know I love being home. Okay, we're going to do that. Now, I'm going to take um, my, the shale. The little, I guess it's like a cobblestone. I'm going to go into my basic gray. And I'm going to come over here. And even underneath. And just up a little bit on this. Hi, Diana. Just right here. So here we go. Just like that, okay? Isn't that cute? That's adorable. All right, now I'm, I want my boots colored in in um, Melon Mambo. So cute. Now, what you do with these boots, see these little squares here? I love being home too, right? <laughs> I am a homebody. I swear, Sue, I could be a hermit. Um, th these little squares here that go, uh, that match these emblems right here and the buckles, that's what you want to look at with this to line it up. Okay, so let me see where I'm at. Wait, I need to pull this closer to me. Sorry. I want it to look cute. Okay. Adorable. I'm off just a little bit, but we're okay with it. It's good. Now, for down here, I took my blends and I took my light black and I did like the rubber part of the rain boot right here. And this is light black. I thought that was dark enough. Okay. I'm a social gal. Oh, Diana, you are a social person. I could be home every day. Me too. Susan, I could. I was, my kids were like, oh, this won't phase mom a bit, you know? <laughs> so, I'm just, I, I am a homebody. Now we're going to do no matter the weather, we're in this together. We're going to stamp it right over here, our little sentiment in um, Coastal Cabana. I love that saying. I mean, like spot on, right? With that saying. Okay, now we are going to put our raindrops in balmy blue. So I'm just going to dot my raindrops around. Now in the kit, we did the raindrops in the basic gray, but I wanted blue rain. You know, that's the greatest thing about crafting. Just do whatever you want. Nobody says it has to be one way or another. And like if you get this kit next week and you don't have this, you could use something else. Decorate it with something else. No biggie. No biggie. Just going to come across the top there a little bit. Love it. Cute. Just like that. And now let me bring my box in. And this is the front of the box. I'm going to put that right there. Cute. Okay. Get that straight with our little wiggle room. Thank you, Sue. They're saying sure is tr true, true right now, right? I know, I posted something on my um, Facebook page. My friends, they crack me up. Um, there are no rules in crafting. No, there are not. No, there's absolutely no rules. No rules in crafting, just have fun. Now we're gonna do the back and we're gonna make this cute little scene. Oh, I love these clouds, right? Okay, let me get that piece of paper or that's Whisper White. And let me think, I don't think I need that black out anymore. I'm going to close that up because that could really get like a disaster. Okay, so let's get our dark gray and our large cloud. And we're gonna come here and we're just gonna make clouds. 
Oh, you have not gotten your paper pumpkin yet? Wait till you get this set. You're, I. It's like I don't want to stop playing with it. So I'm putting my gray clouds all over the place like that. These are the large ones. Now let me get my little one. Where is it? Here. Okay. And the hook here of this little one, are you going to come on Facebook more since you're home? Yes. Yes, Susan, I do plan on coming on Facebook more. I really had to, um, like this week, I have regrouped myself. So see how that layers on top of there and just makes those clouds stinking adorable. Okay, now I'm going to clean this because then I'm going to come back in with the little one with the balmy blue. That makes a cute cloud on top of this. The blue on top of this looks so cute. Stagger things and just go on top of it. Oh, it's just adorable. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? These are so cute. Um, and now the grass. Now this grass, let me say this, okay? See these boots right here? This grass is connected to go and fit right on top of those boots like that, okay? And um, so that is wonderful, just like that. And you know what I might just do is you might not even know when I get on here because, and this goes into the pear pizzazz, um, the greenery. <clears throat> I might just like get on here and be like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just hang out with me and watch how I... You know, because you guys usually get like, okay, she's been in the craft room. She's, you know, made one and then, you know, you get, I do the prototype kind of thing and then I come back with you guys and I do another one. What I might start doing is just like, forget about that. I'll just get in here and you guys could watch me make my mistakes. This crafting takes our minds off of COVID-19 for sure. Oh, thank you so much, Vicki. Um, you know, isn't that pretty? What? Wouldn't that look fantastic? Like if you guys scrapbook, wouldn't that be fantastic? That is just a cute um, scene right there. I love those clouds. I didn't think those clouds would stamp out like that as well as the, you know, as it came. So this is the back of the box. Cute as can be here. Yes, yeah, so I might just get on here and be like, okay, um... I've got some, I've got a stamp set. This is how I start. Should I do this? Should I do that? Do I look at Pinterest? Do I get an idea from here? Am I using a, um, you know, oh, thank you, Sue. Am I using a um, card sketch, you know, to go from there? Am I just like winging it? Which is you normally, honest to God, guys, that's how it starts. I'm just winging it. It's like, okay, let's just get moving here and we're good to go. You know, and that's just me. But that's, that is a lot how I craft. Okay, now these little pieces are two and a half by two and a half because they're going to go on these little teeny tiny cards just like that. So let's see, what did we put on the inside of this one? I believe in you. We're going to get our little flower here in our Mellow Mambo. Right there and then right there. Cute. And then I believe in you in our Mellow Mambo. What a cute little um, card, you know, like project to do here. This is a good little project to get these little boxes going. That is adorable. Okay, so there's that. And see, yes, to see how I come up with ideas and how I stumble. Now, you know, you might get tired of being on here with me. I might be, I started watching you a few days. Oh, you're so sweet, Esther, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I, I appreciate you. You know, you can ask these guys, ask any of them. I am real. It's just me. Uh, this is really and seriously who I am. I get my sponges here. I'm going to go into my Melon Mambo. This piece is two and a half by two and a half. So um, for making boys, teen boys, and men cards for birthdays. Oh, okay. Hi, Savings Maker. Had to catch the replay. Hey, you're good to go. We are just getting into making this card. You, you, you can watch the replay to make the box. Now, see how I, I like got some of the ink off of there, guys? Okay, because I don't want to blob it onto the card. And I'm going to come up here onto this part. 
I'll tell you what I don't like about this setup is that while I'm inking like this, is this, this is shaking, right? Now I'm gonna, I dabbed it into the uh, Melon Mambo and I wanna flick the edges to make them darker. And I wanna come back around here and do that. Okay. Now from there, we're gonna go into our green, which is our pear pizzazz. And I'm gonna come over here again, get your ink off, and then come to your paper. The very, very lightly, this should look like um, powder almost. You know what I'm saying? Just have that really light, powdery effect. Not really dark. It is ink blending, but it's very light. Maybe this should be called like ink shadowing. I don't know. Because I'm really not blending too much. It's kind of a shadow of ink. And now in this corner, oh my God, I love, why don't I use Gorgeous Grape more often? I don't know. I just, you know, because this is a pretty, pretty, pretty color. It is just like, I love purple. I used to have a room when I was a kid that was lavender. From lavender then, um, I thought my father was going to kill me. Um, from, <laughs> from lavender, I went to black and white. And I had one wall white and three walls black. My father was like, I'm going to have to paint silver over this if we ever, you know, have to paint this room. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And yeah, so, and they did, you know, so yeah, when they sold the house, yes. That's what had to happen. Look how pretty that is. So cute. Okay, now, no, we are gonna use the black. Okay, I wanna get my um, my basket of flowers here into the Tuxedo Memento Black Ink, right here. And now I'm going to get this in the middle of our pretty, pretty piece of paper that we just made and letting it kind of have that trio effect of color through the entire basket and with the flowers. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, now we're going to take the flowers that go on top of this into the Melon Mambo, and I'm going to stamp off because I don't want it that vibrant. Now this, there's a little teeny tiny flower here. Your son wanted his room red? Oh my gosh, yes, see, okay, it's the same thing. There's a little tiny flower here, line it up here. You have to get, I'm gonna pull this down again because I really wanna get over this. Um, you have to get this, really hover over it and look at your flowers. I've got it, I think. Okay, oh cute. Isn't that adorable? And you could just stamp right on there and this flowers still stand out. I think that came out so cute. Okay, now I can um, put this on the front of this card and we have our first one done. So yeah, I have to admit, you know, like I even posted on my Facebook Thank you, Susan. I even posted on my Facebook like a cleaning schedule. Guys, I got lazy. You know, usually by now my house is clean and ready, you know, to go for the week and go to work. No, it's not. It is not. Okay, so this is our, let's see, that was that box. This is our box tonight. Let's see. No, this is our new box. Okay. That's the old one. So there's one in. Okay, and let, let me put that in that box. Now let's do, oh yeah, let's do this one. This one is the one with the Coastal Cabana. And again, this is just regular Whisper White at two and a half by two and a half. Now with this, we're gonna make our clouds. Again, cute. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take our large cloud. Well, no, wait, 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 stop. First, we're gonna take our bunny. First, we need the bunny in the middle first. Put him in Tuxedo Memento Black Ink and put your bunny in the little picture. And I'm kind of doing him off to the left just a little bit. Oh, cute, okay. Now, 
<clears throat> I did get my, um, didn't we have a paper pumpkin that had the small cards? Yes, we did at what? Yes. Hi, Mary. Nice to see you. Let me catch up on, I'm sorry. I, uh, yes. Okay. I think I got all the comments. Um, I want to use my dark petal pink. I finally got my petal pink. That was in my last order. So I want to use my dark petal pink for my bunny right here. And I'm just going to color him, every bit of him, just this dark petal pink. No a shading or anything. He's just going to be a little petal pink bunny. I'm just going to go around his eye. And here, whoop, got a little black going on in there. That's okay. That memento was not dry yet, and I drug the alcohol through it. But that's okay. Okay, let's see. Wait, Joanne joining late. What should we play Susan? <laughs> yes, from Long Island. How are you? Got? How are you doing? How are you doing? Are you okay? I see a lot of things, you know, of course, on the news about New York. So it is a little scary. Um, now I want my little red heart. This is the teeny tiniest little heart in Melon Mambo. I'm going to stamp it off because I don't want it that dark. And I'm going to put it right on my bunny. Oh, he's so cute with his little heart, right? Okay, now we're going to get our greenery again into Pear Pizzazz. And I want to stamp my greenery here. And then over here, just like that. Oh, like the bunny is in the grass. That's so cute. Okay, now we can come in with our clouds. Come right over the bunny's head there. And then here, and just stamp like that. And let's bring our little one in, in gray. In our, just like that. I'm running out of clean space over here. We have so many stamps. Okay. Now, um, my blue. This is the balmy blue. Just going to hook that in here in random areas. Oh. I love it. I'm gonna one has to go right here. Cute, and then up here. Very adorable. I need gray right there. I can see that. As you can see, I love the little clouds. Okay, there we go. So there's that. That is so cute. Let's bring our card base in, and we'll put our bunny on here. We have to do the inside of this one, right? What size is the little white mat you are standing on? Uh, two and a half by two and a half. The card is um, three by six, scored at three. The colored um, card stock, whichever color you're using, this right here is Coastal Cabana, is two and three quarter by two and three quarter. And this little piece here that we stamped on is two and a half by two and a half. Let's see. Right there. So cute. Oh, he's adorable. Okay. Now, because he's Coastal Cabana, I want my flower in Coastal Cabana. Here and here. Cute. Now, what did we put on the inside? Oh, let love grow. I love that one. I love that. Okay. In Coastal Cabana. And right here. Let love grow. I know I've been working on encouraging cards, army coworkers. Oh, are you on an army base, Susan? Are you guys in the military? Here is this card. Oh, look at that, how cute. Oh, so adorable, so adorable. Okay, that's our second card in there. And now we'll do our last one, which is going to be our gorgeous grape. Let's go ahead and do the inside of this in our flower in gorgeous grape. 
Yes, Paper Pumpkin is fantastic. You know, this is fantastic for me because I don't have to think about what I'm doing. And that, um, I just create, you know, when I get the kit. And that is wonderful for me because I'm, I always create. And not that I don't like doing that. This is, um, you are capable of amazing things. No work at Walmart. We are dealing with the public. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, right. I am so sorry. I, I, I could not act in good conscience, guys. I could not. Okay. At what well, I, the, some of the things, I just can't believe some of the things that I'm seeing at this point. It's kind of, it's, it's hard to see, you know, at my age, I'm 61. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just not nice, you know, just kind of not nice. Okay, we're going to use some Sahara sand on this. And you guys, oh my gosh. At Walmart, I don't know what we do here in this little town without Walmart. I want to use the gravelly looking sand that came in here in crumb cake. And I'm going to put this at the bottom. Just one line across the bottom, just there. We're going to go back in with our little shale here into our basic gray and we're going to do this in the sand. Isn't that cool? I just love that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, water wipes. Have to sell them water wipes milk. I know, right? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now we're going to put the boots. Let's do our boots in black. I love these boots, these rain boots. I mean, these are like, how does Stampin' Up! know what is so trending? How do they know this stuff? How do they, like, get it spot on? I'm putting these in the middle. Oh, that's, they're so cute. Okay, now we're going to take the inside that I had... Let me clean it in the melon mambo and we're going to do gorgeous grape. I don't know why I don't use this color more often. I absolutely love it. I'm going to pull this down so that I can come over here. There we go. Do an early tomorrow. Yes, watch the replay. Be careful. Be careful. Take care of yourself. Now we're gonna take the light black blend and go over the bottom here. We're like it would have the rubber base of the boot. Cute, adorable. Okay, now um, let's see. Now I'm going to get my raindrops and in my balmy blue and I'm going to make my raindrops around my boots. Just coming down on the side. Cute. We are almost done with this little project tonight. Thank you everyone for hanging in here with me. There we go. I'm going to come across the top here, too, just to give it a little something, something up there. Right? Oh, love it. I have a lot of stamps to clean right now. How many stamps? What? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 17 stamps I have to clean. Isn't that funny? Okay. Now we're going to put this here. And use a little Tombow there. Right down on this. Oh, cute. So, yeah, just make a comment like you guys have been doing, you know. And then I write all the names down. And then next week, this is what I'll give away. The kit to put this together with. Of course, nothing will be stamped. Um, and, yeah. And that is what we're doing for next week along with a nice card. You guys will get to put it together. I'll cut the box for you. 
and your credit. Thank you so much, Janet. I appreciate it. Hey, guys, I really appreciate you dropping in on Sunday night. It was light out when we started, and it's dark now. So, yeah, that's wonderful. I, I hope that you will try to make this little box. I'll post the, um, the measurements for the box on... Um, yeah, so I'll put it at the beginning, like, of this post. I'll do that. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate it. it. These are so simple and fun and easy to make. And, you know, you could just give them to somebody. They're just too cute. I just, when I saw that stamp set, I was like, oh, my goodness, mini cards. This one, the clouds. I love the clouds. I can't wait to do more with the clouds. So each one of these is definitely totally different. This is so much fun. They're just fun to play with. Fun stamp set to play with. You can always use this box with any stamp set, guys. Any stamp set. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you guys here next Sunday. Let's see how we are all faring through the week. Um, there's no telling what will... I might post something. Hey, I'm going to be on here in 10 minutes. You know, or something like that. Let's see what happens throughout my week. Um, and we will go from there. It's been wonderful to see everyone here. Please take care of yourselves. Stay inside. Please don't get sick, okay? Um, so you want a supply list, Laura? Yes, yes, I'll do a supply list. No problem. No problem. Stay home and enjoy your house. Enjoy your crafting. Move your craft room around. I have to start cleaning, though, honest, and doing wash, okay? Because I've been doing a lot. Because I knew I was off. I was like, oh, no, I'm in that craft room. I couldn't help myself. So that's okay. The house can wait, right? I'll get to it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then, yes, you would use um, Stampin' Up! Sales 3x3 three three envelopes um, if you want for these little cards, or you can make a 3x3 three three envelope. So thanks again, guys, and have a wonderful week. I'll definitely be on here Sunday at 7, but um, let's see what I do through the week. Not sure yet, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon, and happy crafting.